is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we have another installment of the massive box series we have done aj styles we've done seth rollins we've done the undertaker but today guys we have a special edition because it is the newest signee of aew wrestling john moxley or should i say dean mean machine ambrose i call him dean mean machine ambrose here on the channel for some stupid idiot dumb moronic reason i started doing it a while back and then it just stuck and then now it's become sort of a meme of the channel so today we have a massive box full of dean mean machine ambrose Bros, and what we're going to do is just take out each figure. You guys know how the Massive Box series works. I'm going to take out the figure, show it, talk about it, tell you what I like about it, maybe tell you about the series, all of that good jazz in between. And we're going to go all the way through until we completely empty the box. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get started. So starting out first, guys, we do have this figure right here, and it is a Dean Ambrose Elite. I think this is supposed to be the cash-in exclusive. Maybe not. It could not. Maybe it's the, the SummerSlam figure with a different arm swap. I know it's some sort of fix-up. I took a Dean Ambrose Elite, whether it be the Toys R Us Network Spotlight exclusive or if it's the uh, the, 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 the the SummerSlam 2017 wave, you know, with Matt Hardy, Edge, Seth Rollins, and Dean Ambrose. I think I took that figure and then I swapped on some Chris Jericho arms and then put on some black hand tape. That way you'd have his, like, 2017 look when he was running around with Seth when they were Raw Tag Team Champions. Next up, guys, we have one of my favorite Deans in my collection. I know that it does have a busted open head scan here, but the reason that it has a busted open head scan is this is the, the Dean Ambrose that I have used in the pick fed many times, and he must have got assaulted or something on the, on this night, so he has a busted open forehead and he's bleeding all over the place. This is the Epic Moments Mattel Shield 3 pack, and I like this Dean Ambrose a lot because it actually is shirtless, which is the only shirtless Dean Ambrose we've ever gotten. I also threw on the Elite 48 t-shirt, but I cut the sleeves off so you have sort of a better looking Dean, and he hurt his shoulder at the pick fed show um, prior to, to whatever so the the night after when he came out on MDT live he has the you know the shoulder stuff like Cesaro has the 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 Kesey whatever tape he has that on his shoulder there so I thought that was nice this also has some of the best jean color compared to this ugly saturated blue I like this jean color better next up guys moving on we do have a shield Dean Ambrose and I don't know which series this is this may be the three pack the Walmart three pack exclusive or it may be a different one I think it's the three pack exclusive to Walmart. The Then Now Forever, I think it's the TNF 3-pack from Walmart, but it does not have its head scan. It's somewhere. It came with like a, a red-headed Dean Ambrose, and it just did not look good, so I went ahead and switched it out. Um, well, yeah, I say I switched it out. Brad, you didn't even put a head scan back on it, but there is that Dean Ambrose. Next up, guys, we have another Shield Dean Ambrose, and I think this is the first ever Shield Elite Dean Ambrose ever made. You guys can see it's sort of a classic. He's got the old throwback slick back hair head skin that's you know brownish color he's got the vest going right there but it is the thicker vest on there instead of you know just the regular black looking jeff hardy torso that the the tnf three pack has but there's that dean ambrose pretty solid figure i, I can't remember what series is it elite 25 I, I can't remember next up guys we have the elite series 58 dean ambrose and what this is is uh it came with this t-shirt but when you took the t-shirt off, the, the white was underneath. So pretty much it's kind of like a, a mix-up of a bunch of different Dean Ambrose figures that we had gotten from Mattel thus far. It's got the Elite 36 Dean Ambrose torso. It's got the Elite... 58 or Epic Moments legs and it has the Elite 48 head scan so I thought that was a very interesting figure. Pretty solid one as well. Came with the Intercontinental Championship very underrated Dean Ambrose. And then this one is the SummerSlam one that I was talking about. Uh, you know when I was talking about in that first Dean Ambrose that we looked at it came with this t-shirt but you take it off it is a black sleeveless shirt underneath and then you have the bare arms but then I switched them out with the black tape arms to get that fix up. But this is the original SummerSlam Dean Ambrose. A lot of his figures do look the same, but they are slightly different. They look cool up all on the shelf, though. I like them. Next up, guys, we do have the Elite Series 63 Dean Ambrose, and I used to hate this head scan, but now that he's cut his hair off, I kind of like it. Like, I need to take this head scan. Since he's not with WWE anymore, I need to just take this head scan, customize it, and get me a John Moxley head scan made, and maybe we can do some different fix-ups, especially when he appears on AEW television, you know, week to week, starting in the fall on TNT. I can't wait for it, man. I, I think Dean Ambrose slash John Moxley Moxley has become one of my favorite talents. I knew we always had it, guys, but my God, the, him on a TV14 product is going to be super fun to watch, 
and I think that uh, he's always been sort of underrated, so I think it's going to be fun to see what he can do, but you guys can see here that uh, this is our first Dean Ambrose figure that we ever gotten with the interchangeable hands, and they had to make it a shield figure. His last uh, sh his last Elite ever was a shield figure, which is uh, interesting to say the least. Next up, guys, we have a couple of Elite Series 41 Dean Ambroses, and I've never really liked this figure. I don't know what it is. I think it's that terrible torso mold that they used for him. I know that they've used it for him in the past, but I think the Stone Cold torso can work better for Dean Ambrose. You know, he's a pretty solid dude, especially coming back from his injury. I know that uh, the, the Stone Cold torso could totally work, but here he is with his Dean Ambrose t-shirt on, and it's a solid figure. You got the crazed head skin, you got the saturated looking pants, and again, it's not my favorite at all, but you know, you can put a t-shirt on it, you can do some different fix-ups, maybe make him shirtless if you wanted, if you crack the torso off, but um, I like this figure as far as everything else goes. I just do not like that torso for some reason. It doesn't look bad by any means, but it kind of looks like he's wearing an Under Armour t-shirt or something. So there is the Elite 41 Dean Ambrose. Next up, guys, we have a pair of Elite 36s, and you guys will see that, again, it's pretty much just like the Elite 58 that we saw earlier, earlier except it has a smiling head scan, and this one has, uh, like, some white paint left on the crotch from where I painted it white, and then I, they, I chipped it off because I wanted an all-white Dean Ambrose. That was an old video on the channel if you'd like to go check that out. Out. But here we have the figure in its completely, you know, just straight up version. This is straight out of the packaging with the entrance jacket and everything. Really like that hoodie. I remember when they first showed that at Comic-Con a long time ago. Or maybe it was Ringside Fest. I don't remember which show it was. But you guys can see, they, they love to re-release the same Dean Ambrose head scan. It's either the crazed head scan, that updated Elite 48 head scan, or it was the, the, the smiling head scan. So now that he's out of the company, I guess we won't have to worry about that anymore. But they literally uh, re-released re this head scan 162 times, but I like this Dean. Next up, guys, we have a pair of Elite 48 Dean Ambroses, and again, here is that same thing. I think uh, this is the Elite 48 Dean Ambrose without the t-shirt on it, and this is the Elite 48 Dean Ambrose with the t-shirt on it and a different head scan. I really like this head scan. I remember when they first released it, it was really strong. I still think it's a strong head scan. It looks just like him. You could, it's, But a lot of people say it's like that goofy Ambrose, you know, when he was running around, you know, uh... I mean, let's be real, I think WWE always booked him to be kind of goofy, and, you know, he even revealed it in that podcast with Talk is Jericho. You definitely need to go check that out if you haven't already, guys. But you have the goofy-looking head scan, but I think it does favor him. I mean, it does look just like Dean Ambrose, and then you have that smiling head scan yet again, and the light jean color, which I thought looks great. I love the light jeans. So there's the Elite 48 Dean Ambrose. Next up, guys, we have another Shield Elite Ambrose, and this one is, I, th I think this one is the Walmart 3-pack. The other one may have been the Walmart 3-pack as well. They may have both been the Walmart 3-pack, but here it is with an actual head scan on it instead of a headless Dean Ambrose Elite. So there is that one, just crazed head scan on that same, you know, shield body that they've given us a hundred times. And then the last two Dean Ambrose figures, guys, we have the Toys R Us Network Spotlight. I think this is the Toys R Us Network Spotlight that came with the, you know, the Money in the Bank briefcase and the WWE Championship commemorating uh, Money in the Bank where he cashed in on Seth Rollins and won the title. And then we have another Elite 58 Dean Ambrose with the t-shirt on there instead of the, uh, you know, the white shirt. So we have like every Dean Ambrose figure with shirt, without shirt, some fix-ups and different things of that nature. I'm just glad I have all these Dean Ambrose Elites before, you know, his, his figures rose in price. I would like anybody right now, go over to eBay and check the price on a Dean Ambrose figure. I'm sure they're going to inflate in price for sure, especially, especially when John Moxley is on AEW over and over and over in the fall with TNT and AEW, I think that his figures are totally going to skyrocket in price. But I think that pretty much does it for all of the massive box full of Dean Ambrose figures, guys. we got to stick them back inside the box here. But now that uh, once I see him, you know, on TV and see what he's wearing, I know he's probably going to be shirtless. He's probably going to have, you know, that, that cutoff shirt. And then he's going to have, you know, some black jeans on probably something of that nature. All I have to do is get some different head scans made. I mean, I have plenty of head scans to work with, so what we're going to have to do, and uh, I know you can still find Elite Series 63 in store, so maybe I can pick up a couple Shield Dean Ambrose's or John Moxley's at the Walmart, you know, take the head scan off, get some customization, and then we can make some different fix-ups of John Moxley once we see what he looks like every week for AEW, but 
that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. I figure what better way than to do the massive box series than with Dean Ambrose slash John Moxley, since you know he's been a heavily uh, talked about superstar here in the last few days, especially with Double or Nothing showing up, attacking Kenny Omega, being a signee of AEW, getting all these matches announced for you know New Japan and across the country and across the world. So it's going to be a really exciting deal, guys. I cannot wait for AEW Weekly Television on TNT in the fall. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Comment down below what your favorite Dean Ambrose slash John Moxley figure is down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.